Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 103 of Greedfall. And we are still looking for Constantine, but to find her we have to look for Sarah. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, the search has been very relentless. Someone's coming to save you. Give in. Your life is in our hands. It is time to tell us all you know. The sooner you speak, the sooner this will be over with. We're not alone. We'd better be discreet if we want to keep the element of surprise. She's been enduring this punishment for hours, blow upon blow through gritted teeth. Truly savage beast we have here. Do we even know if it speaks our language? Leave us. You will eventually tell us how you found your way into that grotto. Your defiance is only prolonging the inevitable. You remind me of that rat my master was studying. The creature used all of its fire in an effort to escape. Scratching, twisting, refusing to understand that the cage holding it was its only remaining world. It had everything it could ever need, but it wouldn't stop looking for a way out. Even though its fate was now sealed to serve science, its animal instinct drove it to flee. It had strangled itself between the bars of its own cage in a final futile attempt to escape. It was an enormous beast and very clever. If it had simply relented, it could have lived peacefully for many years. Instead of that, <laughs> How can they do this? This is such a disgrace. Let's talk to them. I may be able to reason with them. If we act now, we'll certainly have to fight them. But if we wait until nightfall, we should be able to set her free discreetly. It's your decision. I'm gonna kill them. I want their I want their armor. To my help. And to but I recognize this face. Lady Dasade, what a pleasure to see you again. What good wind brings you? We've been looking for a woman. In fact, it's the one you have just been torturing. Can you explain to me what she has done to be treated this way? Believe me, we would never have reached such extremities if she had told us what we wanted. You see, we have been studying these beings that show, like you, such strange markings on their bodies. We call them metamorphs. But the natives call them Onolmanawi. And we seek to learn through what process they metamorphosize. We heard talk of a cavern of knowledge. The savages hide all of their knowledge within them. And certainly all the secrets that interest us. We discovered one here, but are unable to enter. This woman, she knows how to enter. But as you have witnessed, she refuses to tell us how. To know we are so close to understanding such a fascinating phenomenon. And to be able to do nothing, let's just say it has made us aggressive. It's extremely regrettable. Free her. We would like to have a word with her. She won't tell you anything. Let us handle this. She will give in at some point. Have 
you already forgotten all that you owe me? Without me, you would all be locked away in Duren's jails, or likely even dead. I took you for sages, doctors, but you are nothing more than a gang of skin flayers. You have made me regret my actions. It is true that we indeed owe you our lives, but... All this knowledge... Ripe for the picking. No knowledge justifies treating anyone this way. Oh, free her now! We shall leave. Nothing more holds us here. Boy, I wanted to just kill them! Jeez! How are you feeling? Better now. Those Renaikse are absolute monsters. But who are you? You too are a Renaikse. Why have you freed me? We were told at Wenshevar that you and you alone could tell us where to find High King Binvar. I wish I knew where he was right now. He bid me farewell weeks ago and he has not returned. I waited a long time and then I came here. To enter into the Cavern of Knowledge. You believe that this is where he is hiding? No. But he came here often before he disappeared. I'm hoping to find answers. You save me. And so I must help you as well. You may come with me. The Cave of Knowledge is a bit further north. Wow, this is the first time we, I think we follow anybody, right? In the past, we can just uh, teleport to it. Oh, she's now armed. <laughs> I wonder where she picked up her sword. Why is she just jogging along? She should go out. Onol Manawi. So we are part. So Onol Manawi are actually their magic users? That seems to be like it. So. And we are at Onol Manawi too. Here is the entrance to the Cavern of Knowledge. I hope that Vinbar has left a clue to where he went. Something I could track. Is it your wish to join him? He is my Manundanem. That means the one who shares my mind in your language. We must be reunited. I understand. But why protect the entrance to the cavern at the risk of your own life? The caverns of knowledge are truly sacred places. Only the Donegada have the right to enter. But you are not a Donegad. Is that right? I am not. But I must enter in spite of everything. And since you have helped me, you may enter as well. Even if I am not sure I can trust you. Because you spared these people. Remind yourself that this honor is immense and show respect. I implore you. Put your fears to rest. We have not come to defile this sacred place. How do we enter? Allow me. I have seen Vinbar make these movements so many times. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we uh, explore the cave. Wow, is that bush moving? Uh, I guess it will be similar to the dark caves we've seen in the past. Okay, this is ooh, that's a mural. Paint of this fresco is still fresh. It must have been painted recently. It's of a crowned man. Vinbar, no doubt. It looks as if he is walking through the skies towards the volcano face has been painted on the volcano the spirit of the mountain 
My heart did not betray me. <clears throat> Vinbar has readied himself to join Enon Milfrichtemen. Was that why you came in here? To confirm that supposition? To understand, yes. As the years passed, my Minundanem grew more and more distant to me. I thought at first it was due to his status and the invasion of the Renaikse. But now I see that he was hearing the call of Enon Milfrichtemen. He had no choice but to answer it. Oh, Vinbar, why did you not share this with me? Okay, that's one of four. Oh. Boy, but she is quick. Where did she go? Ooh, another one. Another beautiful fresco. These paintings are older. This looks like it represents a man who transforms himself into some kind of enormous bird. <clears throat> he is a Denegad, becoming a Nadaig Manaman. Vinba was also bound to the mountain. It is no doubt the path he has chosen to follow. If I understand correctly, the Donegada metamorph differently according to the place they are bound. Yes. The Sinolmenawi bind them to a specific place, and in return they become the guardians. But how could a guardian of the plains resemble a guardian of the mountains? Do you believe that Vinbar is readying himself to undergo this transformation? I thought it was a very slow process. For some it takes years. At least this is what is said. For others, it might take place the very moment where the Donegad surrenders to Enon Milfrichtemen. I hope only to have the time to bid him farewell. Okay, we promise. Given how well hidden this seed was, it must open an important passage. All we have to do is find out which. This mural is also ancient. It seems to show a doorway into the mountain. It seems that this door is just in front of a circle of stone. There are two altars and two seeds. The Donegada seal certain sacred places with root doors. Yes, I have run into similar barriers. It's all a matter of finding the right seed. But here, there are two that seem to be different. For one, the flower motifs seem to indicate which plant is required. This is possible. The caverns of knowledge are used to initiate and transmit the knowledge of the Donegada. This painting must teach the younger how to reach the sacred place where they will bind themselves. In that case, shouldn't there be an illustration of the second plant? The initiates also learn by listening to their masters. Okay, is there another seed here that maybe we might have missed? Because it's like that one. We, if we did not loot that one, we would have missed that seed. Is it this way or that way? Let's check this way. Okay, not here, nothing here. On this one we see a sacred site with raised stones. And behind the face of the volcano, we also see a path that leads there. Like some sort of schematic. This must certainly be the path the young apprentices must walk. And the Donegada that are prepared to surrender themselves to Enon Milfrichtemen. Do you recognize the place where the entrance can be found? I think so. It looks like the grotto that lies to the northwest of our village. With all that we have learned from studying these paintings, we should be able to find Vinbar. I just hope there is still enough of him left to answer us. And that Constantine is with him. 
and that he is still alive. Who is Constantine? Oh, he thought you were looking for Vinbar. I seek them both. I had hoped that Vinbar would help me enter the sanctuary of Dorhad Genadu, but I learned from the Tiana Hakadaktas that he took my cousin. The Tierna told you this? And so you seek to avenge him? No. Only to save my cousin and try to understand why. None of what you say makes sense. Why would Vinbar take your cousin? I... I don't understand. Oi, my head spins. I need to breathe fresh air. I shall await you outside. Please, go ahead. We will join you soon. Am I the only one to think this woman's departure is suspicious? I shouldn't have told her about Constantin. She must have thought we wanted to kill her husband. This door is locked. Sarah has put us in a very tricky situation. We should have noticed that she did not trust us. Let's search. There must be another exit to this cave. Wow, she sealed us in, in a way. Mm. There must be another way out of here. What's down there? And we're not too far from, I think, bottom because we see daylight, right? Yeah, like here. Find the passage in the mountain. Uh, so that was the door we went in at. Uh, okay, find the trail of the High King. Uh huh. And where is that? Find a trail of the High King. We can come here back to the. What's this one over here? Find the passage in the mountain. So we need to stay here. What's this? Uh, find Trail of the High King. Meet with Mev. I think we need to come over here. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, uh... What's here? What is These here? These traps weren't here when we went through with Sarah earlier. Let's hurry and find this passage to the northern mountain before she decides to come and fight us directly. This is so cool. We're picking up traps left. I think this is stuff by Sarah. Uh, she did not realize that our trap skills are very high. And uh, we are actually uh, profiting from this. Right? By placing it on this path. Thank you, Sarah. Uh... Okay, they, oh, our campfire should be just right here. Ah, oh, so slow. We are so slow. Uh, okay, do we want to hoof it all the way here? Or it just make no sense? Because 
Yeah, we still have, even if we port to here, we still have to come back here. Let's see if we can just hoof it all the way back. What is our bullets like? Okay, we have a lot of bullets. Okay, we're close to where we need to turn right and hug. Ooh, what was that? And hug this uh, side. <clears throat> they actually have markers on the road. <laughs> a combination of bullets and magic like bullets to hurt to do damage and then magic to heal I think <coughs> we can outlast <coughs> sorry <coughs> we can outlast almost any monster even the the night god uh, Magaman Whoops. What? To my help. And death to the others. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Watch out. Grenade. No. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Because we're healing all three of us, so if uh, two of <clears throat> are putting out damage and then one is just steadily healing, I don't think, uh, unless uh, they wipe us in a couple of hits, we can actually out-endure them. Injure and endure. <laughs> Both. <clears throat> okay, uh This is the place which was depicted on the mural in the Cave of Knowledge. Vinbar must have hidden the passage to the sanctuary. Oh, sacred mount passage to the mountain. Uh, 
find Finbar's trail. They should not have gold coins. They should have rather have gold nuggets. Because these bo these uh, islanders, they don't use coins. Oh. Whoa, okay. Uh, what is on this other side that... Uh, Yeah, okay, cool. Obsidian Saber. Whoa, this is very good. Uh, huh. Okay, uh, there goes our timer. So I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.